hello and welcome back to another video and welcome to another range test this time with the Volkswagen ID4 now this isn't just any Volkswagen ID4 this is the ID4 Pro the base car comes on aero wheels which are really nice so they're 19 inch wheels uh, with a little bit more of an efficiency tire I believe they're hand cook EV specific tires and we're gonna see how far this car goes on a charge in our 70 mile per hour loop style highway range test now you'll notice there's a Mustang Mach-E parked next to the ID4 and that's because I'm actually going to be taking the Mach-E on the range test. You will be joining Jordan here in the ID4, kind of running them back to back in similar conditions. Now the Mach-E range test video will have already been posted by the time this video goes up. So feel free to go and see how well that car has done. I don't know. We haven't left yet. Uh, we have the Mach-E charging right now because at 80% this car drops down to 12 kilowatts, the ID4, even though I got here what like 30 minutes after you was just gonna full charge way quicker so we're with the cars we're not blocking chargers and as soon as that gets up to maybe 98% I'll pull this from 94 to 100% roughly in that amount of time. I like to leave right when the cars hit 100% state of charge. This ID4 has a 77 kilowatt hour usable battery pack, 82 kilowatt hours installed. And the reason that I'm so excited about the Pro is this has 10 more miles of EPA rated range than the Pro S or the first edition ID4. This has 260 miles of EPA range versus the 250 of the other cars. Now you may have heard me say this many times, but I truly believe the ID4 is one of the best value EVs on sale. And in this video, we're seeing again how the base car performs. 39,995 on this one before the federal tax credit, before estate incentives, if your state qualifies like ours does in Colorado. And of course, three years of free charging on Electrify America. Really an awesome package in the right size SUV. Big fan here. So Jordan, are you looking forward to spending some time with the ID4? I am, at least it has AC. Yeah, so you'll stay nice and cool in there. We're gonna pull down the temperatures again ahead of the drive so we don't have to spend all that energy when we unplug, making it more consistent with our regular testing. Yep. But it is important to remember that today is very hot. Um, so also, thing, neat thing about the ID4 is it's not really comparable to the Mach-E. Uh, the Mach-E, this particular spec's $20,000 more than this car, yep. and it has another 10 kilowatt hours, 11 kilowatt hours usable. So I imagine the Mach-E is gonna go farther on a charge than this ID4, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, that's <laughs> why we're doing this. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think we're really going to see like which one goes farther. Obviously 300 miles EPA versus 260, but real world, it'll be nice to see that difference for everyone, of course. But also it's just a great day for a range test. It's warm, it's minimal wind, and we have pretty good conditions. Yeah. So let's do it. The ID4 is complete. We just unplugged it. Jordan, this will be your first EV range test. Good Let's luck. Do it. 70 mile an hour GPS constant. And you're gonna pull back in here with like the power bar a little bit to the left. So hop in awesome. and head out, have fun. I'm gonna be taking the Mustang on for this leg. It's at 100% state of charge as well, but still topping up the last little bit. All right, we are off in the Volkswagen ID4. I am putting it in eco mode, just hit 100% charge, and we are going to go see how far we can drive. I will keep you posted on updates every 25% state of charge or so. Quick status update, as it turns out, the GPS accurate 70 on this car is actually 69 slash 70 within the car. So I'll be driving, watching these numbers bounce back and forth indefinitely. We have estimated 225 miles of range remaining, and uh, we've done 16 miles since the charge. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. I've got common control at 71 with the fan on the lowest setting. And so far the terrain has been pretty even. A little bit of hill up and a little bit of hill down. Um, not much wind, I'm not being blown about or anything like that. And very little traffic. I mean, welcome to Eastern Colorado slash almost Nebraska. So we will tune in soon with another update. We have just hit 75% charge remaining, and we have done 61 miles since we left the charger. 
in uh, just under an hour. So yeah, still averaging 70 miles an hour, heading east. And um, what's great is we're doing this loop test to actually negate any sort of you know, other extraneous factors. Kyle is actually behind me in the Mustang Mach-E doing his own individual range test. And I uh, will be curious to see how that car does. Uh, but so far, I am loving this ID4. It's a fantastic cabin to sit in. The infotainment's awesome. I'm just comfortable. Uh, I don't like the piano black plastic, which is literally everywhere, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Am I right? We are coming up to my turnaround point, which is Julesburg. Couldn't quite make it to Nebraska, uh, but that is honestly because of road work up ahead. It looks like the highway is closed. So my turn is gonna be right there, um, about three quarters, two thirds of a mile. So I will basically turn around at that point because we don't wanna hit any construction traffic and disrupt our 70 mile an hour flow. 97 miles. So currently it's estimating 148 miles remaining, which if that actually happens is awesome. And there goes Kyle in the Mustang. And we just hit 50% live on screen. Um, so let's see what we're sitting at. Right now it estimates my range remaining is 127 miles. And I have gone 116 miles. This could be interesting because Again, we are going slightly uphill with a slight headwind. Um, <laughs> hopefully this all works out. On a side note, I absolutely love this infotainment. Um, piano black aside, which I'm actually getting less mad at the more it goes on because effectively these are all like screens. I mean, you can like just run your finger over it to do stuff. You don't have to actually press anything. It's just kind of like a piano black screen with haptic feedback. And this CarPlay, I mean, it's not a huge display, but the resolution is very tight. I mean, you can fit a lot of information on this, especially when you go into an app. So I'm a huge fan of both displays, honestly. Very easy to understand, very intuitive. And the steering wheel panel black are the same way. It's just kind of rubbing your finger up and down on the buttons will actually affect volume and you can change the mode with just running your finger that way. So little haptic feedback behind the steering wheel as well. Very cool car, especially for being a base model. Checking in, we just hit 25% and I have estimated 62 miles remaining. And we are about 40 miles from Fort Morgan, uh, actually about 30 something miles. So my current plan of attack is to continue looking at this really cool sunset and storm and lightning show over there, but also to go just past Fort Morgan on the east side, there's a turnoff, another loop basically, um, to connect me back to the eastbound lane, and then bring me back to the Walmart where we were charging at the beginning. Another update here, I was almost distracted by the sunset to miss it, but I have a battery icon. Yes, right about 51 miles, entering into 50 miles, it pops up with a thing on the display that says, please recharge your car. So, <laughs> uh, that is the plan, Volkswagen, I promise. But we have a little bit left of life to go. Let's see how far we can make it. All right, I just hit the magic 10% number. No new warnings on the screen, but yeah, 10% of my battery left, about 10% of my coffee left, so it's really getting down to the wire. Um, 27 miles remaining according to the car, and I am about, let's see, five miles from my stop plus 16, so about 21 miles from the actual charging station. So I might have a little bit extra when I get back to just kind of run around, um, but this should be, yeah, so far, this is looking pretty accurate. We now have a dramatic headwind, wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour apparently. This weather came out of nowhere. Um, I have 2% with four miles remaining. And this says two and a half miles to my destination. So yeah, we're getting, we had a deficit of seven miles originally and now it's down to a mile and a half. So this is getting pretty exciting. Um, let's see, I exit in just under two miles. And upon exit, I should get a little bit of region, which will help. But that, oh, that just dropped to three miles. So let's see <laughs> how far this goes. Oh boy. 
Um, and I think I just missed the last exit before my exit. So this will be, this will be fun. I'm now braking, capturing some regen right there. Still 1%. It has not gone into any sort of limp mode. It didn't restrict me below 70 miles an hour when I hit 1%, which was kind of surprising. Um, we are now getting closer. I've got about a mile till the charger, or half mile. Nope, third mile. Okay. We are now driving circles in the Walmart parking lot to try to get it down to 0%. We did hit zero miles, so that's interesting, but still 1% remaining. It did pop up with a message that said, please charge, we noticed you're near a charger. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty great. Um, it's probably assuming I'm completely lost or can't find it right now. But yeah, we're still just chugging along here. All right, I just got battery drain, charge vehicle now. It just says 0%. All right, I would consider that a sufficiently drained vehicle. 0% left, zero miles remaining. It's actually said zero miles remaining for probably the last mile of doing loops in the parking lot. So that's uh, probably a good sign to head back and get it charged. Fortunately, we are nearby. Charge vehicle now, otherwise the battery may be damaged. Will do, roger, roger. Uh, let's see, 0% over here. So, since last charge, 229 miles. Oh, that thing's heavy. So, Jordan, I haven't heard the final number yet. How'd it go? It went well. I got 229 miles. 229 miles isn't bad at all. The conditions were really good. Do you know what your miles per kilowatt hour were during that time? Um, Let's take a look. It says, uh, yeah, roughly three miles, but you've been parked for a while as well. So that's hard to say really. Yeah, hard to say the exact miles per kilowatt hour, but it's gonna be in that mid three range, I would think, yep. after idling for a while. Yeah, I don't think this is updated because that hasn't, that was since the last time it charged, so this is still charging. Right, well, maybe something, we'll have to do another <laughs> range test again in the future and just verify all those results, but pretty interesting to get, uh, you know, well over 200 miles on a charge, cruising at 70 miles an hour, impressive yep. range here in the ID4. Wouldn't say it's earth shattering. No. But, but I think it's acceptable. It's a nice place to be, at least. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice car to drive for sure. Well, thanks for watching another range test here on the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.